Hi guys. It is a fine day because it is a cloudy day. Soon to be rainy night. Halla fucking Luya. Here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this hopefully soon to be rainy Sunday, July 17, 2022. So uh, I'm getting ready to uh, head out to Sister Sandy's for the night uh, in a few minutes, but I'm just killing time waiting for my buddy. And uh, over on the mainstream media, and I want to say thank you to Fox News. Yes, uh, we're going to send out a big thank you for Fox News for being the one, if you can call it, a news agency to have the fucking balls to uh, call out this unadulterated horseshit uh, uh, about these trannies. Okay, and guys, this is not a anti-tranny rant. I could give a flying fuck what you have between your fucking legs and what you want to call yourself. If you're some dude with a fucking dick and you want to call yourself a woman, it's a fucking free country. Go call yourself a woman while swinging your fucking dick around or taping it to your leg or whatever the fuck you do. It's a free fucking country. If you got a goddamn pussy and you want to call yourself a man, call yourself a man. It's a free fucking country. This is not anti-tranny. This is pro-biology. We're going to read a story from Fox News, and then we're even going to help Fox News. In a, uh, we're going to have a little biology lesson 101. So, but, but at least Fox News is making a little bit of an inroad. So the headline, New Jersey transgender woman transferred from women's only prison after impregnating two inmates, report says. Okay. A woman cannot impregnate Another woman. Can't happen. Cannot happen. All right. That is a that is a clear violation of one of the laws of biology. Women do not produce sperm. So we're going to have a biology lesson. Okay. New Jersey man with a dick who chooses to call himself a woman because it is still a free country transferred from a real women's only prison after impregnating two inmates, report says. Okay, we're going to take this one paragraph at a time. Paragraph one. A transgender woman incarcerated at a women's only prison in New Jersey has been moved to another facility after impregnating two female inmates earlier this year, according to a local report. Kind of a repeat of the headline. Okay, one more time. A man with a dick choosing to label himself as a woman because this is a free country incarcerated at a real women's only prison in New Jersey has been moved to another facility after fucking two female inmates earlier this year. This is Demi Minor. I don't know what Demi's real name is. Okay. Demi Minor 27 was transferred last month. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Minor who is serving a 30-year sentence for manslaughter, is currently the only woman incarcerated, you know, at, at the new facility and was placed in the vulnerable unit. Okay, one more time. 
we're going to have a biology lesson. Minor, who is serving a 30-year sentence for manslaughter, is currently the only man with a dick choosing to call himself a woman because this is a free country incarcerated at the facility and was placed in the vulnerable unit. That's, a, I, I guess what they're saying is that every other man in the men's prison is not claiming to be a woman. So I guess probably, which is, I, I don't know, probably the same uh, statistic in the general population, you have this one man with a dick in the entire prison choosing to call himself a woman because this is still a free country, even inside a real men's prison where this man with a dick choosing to call himself a woman belongs. Okay? If you have a dick and you are able to impregnate another female, you belong in a man's prison. It makes no fucking difference what you choose to call yourself. You can call yourself whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. What is it about these fucking trannies? You know, there's people, uh, how many people are walking around calling themselves fucking Jesus fucking H. Christ? Okay? Uh, you know, uh, what is it that you choose to call yourself uh, a gender that you are not? Why does this give you any, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I call myself a fucking doomer. I call myself uh, an eco-Nazi. Alright? Oh, Jesus. Uh, Miner's move comes after the re paper reported in April that it appeared two women at Edna Maya became pregnant after, quote, consensual sexual relationships, plural, with another incarcerated person. Yeah, could you imagine how much fucking pussy this dude uh, was getting? So let, let's see, he off somebody. He gets thrown in the in damn prison uh, for manslaughter. He doesn't want to end up being some uh, dude's bitch, and, you know, and, and getting fucking raped uh, by all of these other men uh, at, at, at a fucking men's prison. So he decides, well, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to call myself a woman. Number one, that might limit uh, how many times I'm getting raped by other men in this prison. And think of all the fucking pussy I, I, I'm going to get at this place. <clears throat> I call myself a woman. I take my fucking dick uh, to the prison next door and, and, and start fucking all, all of these clueless bimbos. And uh, so now we have at least two uh, fucking little bundles of joy that the goddamn uh, taxpayers are going to end up shelling the fucking uh, bill for for their whole fucking lives. Uh, you know, don't get me going on all this. Uh... <clears throat> Miner has since claimed in a July 15th post written on her website, Justice for Demi, that corrections officers beat her during her transfer, according to reports. Okay, back to Biology 101. Miner has since claimed in a July 15th post written on his website, Justice for Demi, that corrections officer beat him during his transfer, according to reports. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so what is, so last year in 2021, 
New Jersey enacted a policy to allow prisoners to be housed according to their gender identity following a lawsuit brought forth by a trans inmate who lived in men's prisons for 18 months and the ACLU. Um, quoting one of these prison officials, I love this, uh, this, this quote, quote, the department is currently reviewing the policy for housing transgender incarcerated persons with the intention of implementing minor modifications. Yeah, minor modifications like putting chastity belts on all of the uh, on all of the real women. All right, we have 1,167 comments. Okay, let's hear from Mike. Mike. This is the only one of these comments I'm going to read. I, it's the first one off the Rolodex. What, what does Mike have to say? This will only push the extremists to continue to deny biology. For a party, meaning the limp dick lefty Democrats, those limp dick lefty mainstream Democrats, that party, for a party who claims to be all about science, how can they push this hoax? It takes away any logic, but the agenda is more important than facts. We have 153 thumbs up, 10 thumbs down. We're going to make that 100 and 54 thumbs up to Mike's comment. Uh, anyway, I, I'm not going to... I've, I've made my comment. You know, uh, th th this bullshit has gone on long enough. This is no nothing again. This is not anti-tranny. All right. Uh, welcome to our free country. Call yourself whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. But uh, th this crap has gone way too far. And uh, this is going to turn around and bite these little limp dick lefties and their little limp dicks. That, that, that more and more reasonable people are just getting fucking embarrassed by, by all of this fucking political correctness shit, this pregnant person, this birthing parent, whatever, uh, nursing person, uh, chest feeding I, I actually heard the term chest feeding. You know, I honestly don't know anymore when I'm reading the fucking mainstream media or uh, or the Onion. But anyway, good for Fox News. Uh, I might have to go vote for Tucker Carlson for president. I guess you've heard that rumors are flying that Tucker Carlson is going to throw his hat in the ring for... 2024, President Tucker. Oh my God. You know, Tucker, uh, in case you don't know what a Tucker is, it is a tranny, too chicken shit to get his dick cut off, who tucks his dick. You know, I, I guess, like, tucks his dick uh, 